do we give a fuck about these motherfuckers smoking weed when that shit legal like a motherfucker? Let's get the dope off the street. Hey, bitch ass nigga. Let's get these goddamn video gamers off the goddamn street, nigga. Why don't you go in their motherfucking house? What the? You talking probable cause? What you trying to stop, dog? The, the most these niggas out here doing is selling dope. Why them white boys in their goddamn basement by Asian motherfuckers making pipe bombs like a motherfucker? No talking. And they're not going to point out, you know what I'm saying, your flaws because they just want you to keep giving them the bag and keep giving them the pills. Anybody that's around you that says nothing about you destroying yourself is okay with you destroying yourself. Which means that that is what your hater is. They obviously hate you because they don't want you to be shit. I'm telling y'all that 99% of fucking communication, I said 90, but now it's 99% of communication is nonverbal. Motherfucking tell you anything, but what do they act like? This episode of the Big Bang Podcast is brought to you by my olive leaf. Olive leaf extract is good for naturally lowering your blood pressure, regulating your diabetic blood sugar, lupus fibroid, STDs, and a whole bunch of other shit that you're going to need in the bedroom, big home. Now, to get your bottle, you go to myoliveleaf.biz or call 612-567-3263. Get your shit together, big home. Welcome back to the Big Face Podcast. I am A.O. Canseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation. Have you seen this? Police officers pulled up on the block. They just pulled up into my, a car that these niggas were standing all the way across the street from had too much tin on it. See, look, see? Dog, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put this video if I can remember I'm gonna put this video in the description I'm, I'm gonna try to I, I don't do that shit but I'm gonna try to do it this time because I need y'all to feel me on this. Black police officers, you know that if you went to a fucking restaurant or fuck it you was out of uniform and a fucking police officer ran down on you and, and said I need to search the car you like why the fuck you need to search the car with my family? Oh well. You know, I, if they did that, that shit that y'all be doing, I, I, I can't do nothing. This faggot ass shit that this nigga right here doing, this big nigga, number black police officer. This is how we gonna do it now. I just put out a whole fucking app on you fuck niggas. I'm the first fucking blogger to have a real fucking app. Go to your Google Play Store and hit AO Nation JMA. Download that shit. At the end of this month, we're going to start doing interviews, and we're going to talk about all the hating shit that you got going on in your city. You know what I'm saying? Also, y'all motherfuckers know y'all get the All You See Is shirts, $25 to the fucking PayPal. You know you need to donate to the PayPal so we can keep on fucking up these hating ass niggas because the shit getting out of control now. Whatever else you need to do, whatever you want to advertise, you a rapper, uh, a company, you trying to get this shit out there and broadcast on the show, you know what the fuck it is. You need to have a hundred dollar budget and do not contact me until you ready to make a fucking transaction. If I hit you up or you hit me up and I hit you back and we don't get no transaction, do not tell me I'm going to get back with you, man. Appreciate the love. Ain't no love, my nigga. It's over with. I'm blocking your number. It dead. Get your shit together, bit home. We in a prison, dog. 
we in a prison. And these are our tracking devices. These are our fucking body cams. So that they can know where we are at all times. And they can know what we're doing at all fucking times. The enemy is not the nigga from across the goddamn street. It's these motherfuckers. These are the fucking enemies. And when I say these motherfuckers, I'm not talking about all police officers. I'm talking about you fucking faggot ass police officers that know that you're doing something wrong. What they said. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. So, because you're trying to clean up the neighborhood and get all the, the filth and all the trash out the neighborhood and shit like that, that don't mean that you can do a fucking Trump and just expedite due process. You did not have no motherfucking probable cause to stop a whole group of fucking people. How are you any better than a white bitch that was calling the fucking police about goddamn, um, the motherfucker barbecuing in the goddamn park? Or the, the white bitch that called the goddamn police about the little eight-year-old girl selling water? How are you any better? Didn't, didn't they stand behind bullshit-ass pretenses that, well, you're, by, by, uh, uh, California state law, uh, 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 state code 5-2, uh, section 5, uh, you can't be in a fucking... They did the same shit, and now y'all running down because it's a fucking Volvo in front of where niggas are standing. I understand that niggas, all right, we got this killing over here, we got this killing over there, and that's what I'm telling you niggas also. Nobody gives a, nobody wants to hear us cry. Nobody gives a fuck if we cry because we look just like the motherfuckers that, that kill XXX Tentacion. The same motherfuckers that pulled the gun on Rico Reckless. The same motherfuckers that uh, robbed Rich the Kid. They just kill Zach TV. They kill our streets. The list goes on and on. We look just like the motherfuckers. If there's a group of 10 niggas on the block... The police know that at least three of the motherfuckers have active warrants. They know it. They're, but back to you black police officers. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. So you want to clean up the block and shit like that. I'm going to clean up my neighborhood. The white man gave you a fucking raise and released you onto the fucking community. And you terrorize it. Everything that police officers do is at their own discretion. Black man. Black man. At what point do you give up on the black youth? You are, none of you bitch ass niggas who want nobody to do your son like that, to strip away his fucking rights as if he's already a fucking criminal. How, how do you know that one of them folks out there ain't doing what I'm doing, trying to actually talk to these niggas in their own environment. If these niggas don't go to church, if these niggas don't go to town hall meetings and shit like that, how in the fuck are you going to change them? Because the white man gave up on the goddamn neighborhood, you did too? Fuck that shit? Fuck niggas' rights? Well, if that's the case, you might as well plant dope on a known drug dealer. You know he sell dope. Why not plant dope on them? Since you knew that these niggas were doing a crime and you just pat niggas down without no goddamn right on it. You just can pat niggas down, it's all fucking good because you know that a black man don't got nobody that he can cry to. The black man don't have nobody that will listen to him. As a black man, when you say, man, look how I'm getting did, y'all. A nigga gotta die like Mike Brown or Tamir Rice or a Philando Castile. A nigga gotta die to get motherfuckers to even look at what the fuck going on. Nigga gotta get beat damn near to death like riding the king before anybody even look at this shit. That's the system that you are part of, I understand. But under if what you're saying is you have to feed your family so you have to do your job, you just throw your hands up like this, then how the fuck can you blame a black man for selling crack to a goddamn uh a, a pregnant a fucking a pregnant mother of six? How can you blame him? He gotta feed his family too. He didn't have the same. Maybe, maybe uh, he didn't graduate high school. He, now he got a felony, so he can't be a police officer. So now, or a correctional officer. So now he got to do what the fuck he got to do to feed his fucking family. A lot of you motherfuckers, that police officer, all the fuck you trying to do is get a check. And a lot of y'all don't like your fucking job. You don't like the bullshit that happened behind the scenes. But you got to do what the fuck you got to do. And you stand behind a blue wall, so anything past behind that blue wall, you don't see no fucking color. The first thing you see is we against them. And them is niggas. 
You don't go, you don't see no fucking videos of fucking police officers going to skate parks. As white boys came down the street. When that's the motherfuckers you should be shaking down, bitch. You fucking faggots ain't stopping shit. You niggas. You black police officers ain't stopping the goddamn thing. Why the fuck you ain't? Listen, why haven't you uh, advised your motherfucking supervisor we need to start stopping frisking these goddamn white boys? They the ones shooting up the goddamn school. They the ones shooting up the churches. They the one mass murdering. What the fuck do we give a fuck about these motherfuckers smoking weed when that shit legal like a motherfucker? Let's get the dope off the street. Hey, bitch ass nigga. Let's get these goddamn video gamers off the goddamn street, nigga. Why don't you go in their motherfucking house? What the? You talking probable cause? What you trying to stop, dog? The, the most these niggas out here doing is selling dope. Why don't white boys in their goddamn basement by Asian motherfuckers making pipe bombs like a motherfucker? No talking. Go to the goddamn Boston Marathon. Go to the goddamn uh, Vegas High Tower and hurt some. Why are you faggots here around this bitch? Uh, let me see your ID. Y'all need dope on you? Let me see your waistline. Yeah. No, we're just out here for the car. No, no big deal. Yeah. Your motherfucking probable cause was a Volvo. Now you illegally search somebody. You just touching a nigga in a wheelchair. You just patting this nigga the fuck down. My nigga, do you understand? If that was your fucking child, you'd be going crazy? Do you understand you demonizing a motherfucker for the skin that they in, you motherfucking faggot? Niggas, yeah, niggas out here, you know, uh, they selling drugs and uh, uh, messing up the neighborhood and shit like all that good shit. My nigga, that shit start with the... My nigga, if you trying to police something, you need to start policing the hoes having babies. You're not going to change the goddamn neighborhood. Like, all you doing is chopping down branches. If you trying to stop something, cut it at the root. Where it's coming from? It's coming from niggas not being raised. Niggas just being birthed. Niggas just being burdened. They, they, hoes are just having children and not raising them. Having children and going to the next man, having a child, going to the next man, having a child, and all day long, the motherfucker's looking for attention, but the mama ain't got no time for the child because she's looking for another goddamn victim. Why don't you police that? I'm telling y'all, I'm going to do a goddamn video about how bitches need to have a license in order to have a child. Because... This is how they're just, and this is why they continue to let this shit take place. Because they're, if one of them niggas had a, a fucking warrant for child support, now everybody can get free. The nigga said, you're hanging with them. He got a warrant. You're hanging with them. We, we, now we got to check everybody. Do you know that if somebody has a warrant that's in a car with you, now you can just rip that bitch apart because now you got a criminal with you. Now it's like eight in the bed or some shit like that. They want a nigga to have a charge. No, that's, why they, that's why all this shit is promoted. All they promoted, they want you to have some type of charge. They ran down on that boy in Baltimore in a department store because I saw you in court. Going to court is now criminal. Now that you go to court, and, and no matter if you did your time or not, yeah, I've seen you before. Let me run here. Yeah, I got probable cause. I'm using my own discretion. Nobody want to hear you, nigga. Nobody want to hear your cries. No, no I want to show y'all something, though. Watch this. Watch this. Listen to the sirens. This is Siren. Siren stopped in it. Look at him. Look at the goon squad. Them fucking police officers 
ain't handle niggas fucked up and ain't plant show niggas because everybody got their phones. Niggas, I'm telling y'all, listen what the fuck I'm telling you. We need to start using this social media shit the same way these white folks using it. If something happened to them, they got them. See, in your community, in your community, there's somebody that blogs, there's somebody that got a name or something like that. Whoever has the most clout in your city, it, I'm putting out an edict right now. In every city, in every state, in the United States, in this nation, niggas, there's somebody in your city that has clout. This is where you got to put that jealousy shit and that, 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 ah, uh, that nigga bigger than me. You got to put that shit aside. We are at war at this point in time. This is who the fuck your enemy is. These motherfuckers right here. This your enemy. See? Come on, bitch. There's somebody in your city that got clout. Whoever has the most followers in your city... And whoever you are that has the most followers in whatever city, it is your job. If something happens within your city, it's your job to put that shit out to the masses. And everybody within that city is to share that. You should take the picture of whoever the fucking, the, the most rambunctious and most racist officer is. You need to take his fucking picture and y'all spread that shit the fuck out. Make sure everybody know the motherfucker. The same way uh, that boy Sean King did that lawyer up in New York. They put his face everywhere so you couldn't miss him. We're going to make these motherfuckers go out of business. Whoever the fuck is racist towards us, is prejudiced towards us, we're going to put their ass on a motherfucking flyer. We're going to put that shit all around. And the flyer is the social media that they gave us. We're going to turn our tracking devices and our body cams into fucking weapons against them. They made these motherfuckers so that they can control us. We're going to turn what they gave us against them. Whoever you are in your city you, that has the most clout, it is now your responsibility to make sure anything that happened in your city, that the whole city know it. And you push that shit and tell the officer or the, the store owner or whoever it was that did the prejudice and racist shit until they put out of business or they are fired. We push that shit together. If we stand, I'm trying, if one city do it, and we continue to do this, just for a goddamn month, ain't no motherfucker, ain't no killing, ain't no nothing going on. Ain't no nothing going, I'm just saying, just, it, can we just try this thing for a month? Anybody that do us wrong, in whatever city, the man with the most clout, it is your job to make sure everybody in that fucking city know. What the fuck happened? And all the other people inside the city for a home until that motherfucker fired or until everybody know what the fuck going until they go out of business, it's on y'all to keep pushing that motherfucker. Ain't nothing else on your news feed. Nothing else on your news feed but that person's face. So this motherfucking white man who are pushing that goddamn boy, it's our job to get him fucking fired until they goddamn respect us as humans and not fucking inmates. Because this treatment like this says that we are in a fucking prison and we don't have no fucking rights. At any point in time, they can come for a shakedown. When you locked up, they'll tell you at 3, three o'clock in the morning, everybody out. Take you in the hallway, everybody stripped down, butt fucking naked. And they run that shit. If they want to do a deep cavity search, they can go in your ass and everything. Then they take and they rip your whole, your whole cell apart. And you got to go in that bitch and clean it up. They take what the fuck they want. And that's exactly what the fuck they doing here. Nigga, you outside sitting down, these motherfuckers ran down on you. My nigga, I'm talking to the street niggas. How many times have you been out this bitch and a police officer just come through? It don't matter if you in wartime. That nigga, uh, Vlad was talking, I think, uh, Big U. And they were talking about goddamn how it could be a hundred niggas, uh, a hundred niggas on a hundred niggas. Niggas beefing, you know what I'm saying? It'd be the blood versus the crips, whatever like that. Them niggas beefing, they going to war. One police officer come through, everybody fucking scatter. Because that police officer is, is a symbol of what's come behind it. We so scared of the goddamn um, overseer, the slave master. We have power. If we just turn this shit right here against them, we can do something. But if y'all keep doing the same thing, the same shit gonna fucking happen. If we don't do something... My idea is to turn this shit against them and put their shit out here. 
and street niggas, we stand to fucking gather and make this shit stop happening. Because if they trying to goddamn feed their family and they say it's the only reason they do that shit, now we take their fucking food away from them. Get these motherfuckers fired. How many times, dawg, has a police officer just, no try this, no probable cause, no nothing, just wrongfully fucking searched you and you couldn't do shit about it? You can't go down there to the goddamn police officer or whatever like that because goddamn, you don't got the guy, you don't got that kind of mind. And they know that. The reason why they do this shit is they know you're not gonna follow up on your reports. They make this shit so goddamn, they got so much red tape that they know you're gonna give up on the shit. Like, fuck that shit. Ain't no money in that shit. But if we start goddamn following up every time they do us wrong, if we start following up, they're gonna have to stop doing it. As long as you keep doing the same thing, ain't shit gonna change, dog. And that's just what the fuck it is. So here it is. Either you gonna change what the fuck you doing, you can't just hold this camera up. You can't just hold it up. You have to act on it. You have to um, mobilize. That means everybody come together. Hey man, look man. Everybody trying to make money and shit like that, but they got us fucked up right now. We gotta do something different. I can't tell you to stop selling dope, but that's because that's all you know. And that's something else I wanna talk to y'all about too. The white man gave you that. That's the trap that he made for you. To where you actually think that you're making money, but you just go in the fucking circle. You go in the fucking you ain't noticed? You selling dope, you go, all you're doing is making enough money for your fucking lawyer and some fucking snacks while you locked up. That's all you're doing. They let you get out of jail long enough to make you some money so you can pay for your lawyer and the goddamn food while you locked up. You come back out, you be broke again. Do it all over again. You do this for fucking 20 years, by the time you stop and realize I'm in a fucking trap, your life over with. And now the young niggas won't even listen to you because you a has being broke nigga. And they've been programmed not to listen to old folks for one, but they damn sure ain't gonna listen to an old broke nigga. And that's all you gonna be, but you can't see it now. Because you think you got a fucking plan. How the fuck do you, how you, how do you have a plan inside of a fucking trap? You hear these stories about these niggas, ah, oh, this nigga made it out, this nigga, who made it out, dawg? Who made it out the dope game, dawg? Who made it out the dope game, dawg? I'm asking you. You gonna win selling dope? I, I, just tell me how you gonna win. If a nigga don't kill you, you going to jail. If your bitch don't tell on you, uh, then it's gonna be your nigga to goddamn set you up with some shit. Your ass is going to church. You gonna be that old nigga that bitch like, I was in the street. I know what the street like. I'm telling you, y'all need to stop doing that. And nobody gonna fucking listen to you. You have a chance right now to go ahead and start your real life. It's gonna be hard. It's not gonna be easy, but that's what life is. My nigga, if you have children, if you have children and you preaching to your kid, oh, yeah, be strong and, and, and make sure you practice hard and, and, and all this good shit, you're a fucking hypocrite because all, the way that you're supporting them is selling dope. You don't have any fucking skills. You don't know how to do a goddamn thing with what the white man taught you how to do, which is sell fucking dope. You have no fucking, you're fucking useless. Because what you do, have you not noticed? You can get a 12 year old to do it. The shit, it sells itself. It don't take no fucking salesmanship to sell no fucking dope. Anybody can do that shit. Does that not bother you? And even if you can do something else, you hey, I'm just doing this shit to support it. Whatever. My nigga, you're scared to jump out of that fucking trap because in that trap you feel comfortable. But also in that trap, you've experienced some of the worst pain that a human could possibly endure. Inside of that trap where, where you are currently at, selling dope, right now, where you're at, there's no peace. You don't have no peace. Every day you're trying to find a way to get out of this shit. You hate what you do. No different than a goddamn police officer. You know that you're destroying families. You know that you're destroying your community. You don't just sell dope to white folks. And even if you do sell just to white folks, you know that one day the motherfucker gonna turn over on your stupid ass. No matter how good that filthy fucking money is that you getting, no matter how good it is, how much would you pay of that money for peace of mind to know that 
I'm not going to jail this year. How much would you pay for a for a one year voucher to know that for this whole year you will not go to jail? If you can just if you can still make your money and hand your operation to somebody else, how much would you pay that motherfucker to run that shit? You would do it because you know that this shit is wearing and tearing on your fucking mental wherewithal. Your mental fortitude is being torn the fuck apart. I told somebody that the most stressful career and the career that you'll leave and walk away from with the most PTSD is the criminal career, being a career criminal. Because within that, you can never pinpoint who the fuck your enemy is. It could be the bitch you laying next to and it could be your goddamn mama. There is no trust. You don't know what the fuck the enemy look like. It can come from any direction. Whether it be a motherfucker stealing from you, to a motherfucker robbing you, to a motherfucker killing you, to a nigga just fucking your bitch, to you going broke. What they did was they got you addicted to how fast the money comes and the amount of money you get to where now when they tell you to go to work for $9 an hour, you can't fathom that. You would much rather Sell dope and try to find another way. Just sell dope until you find another way to make money before you go to work for $9 an hour. And that's by design. They know that you're never going to leave that goddamn block because of what you've been exposed to. Because you've been exposed to making this much money in this amount of time, you will never be able to fit into society. They corrupted you. If there was nothing wrong with selling dope, you would have no issue with your children doing it. You are no better than the fucking junkies that you serve. Because as much as this fucking game destroys not only you, but your family structure. You being taken away from your family and your child, your children being used to you being in jail. Used to telling that you was at work. Now they know that you're going to jail. You think that you're different from these fucking crackheads that you serve. And as them crackheads told you, they was the man back in the day. But shit just kept on happening. It kept on happening. Smoking weed and drinking, turning to hit the bag. Hitting the bag, turning to smoking on, on, the, on the sneak. Then it turned to just really smoking and shit like that. And then everything fell apart. And you just can't see it happening. But how many times in the street have you seen shit take place that you just could not believe, that you just did not see happening? Them invisible people are real. The invisible people are the fucking feds. You don't know how long they've been fucking watching you. And you don't know who the fuck they talking to. You're scared to fail. You're scared that people are going to look at you like a regular fucking person. You've been... You've been that nigga so long that the idea of people looking at you like an everyday Joe and a nigga that, that's broke, an average nigga that's broke living check to check, that scares you to death. It terrifies you. And that's by design. Until we actually fix that hypnotization that they've implanted into us, this shit right here will never stop. Because every time when they run down on us, nine times out of ten, somebody gonna fucking run. This shit is seldom. Well, a nigga can hold the camera up because goddamn nobody ran and everybody stood strong. That's seldom. Most of the time when they pull down on us, we gotta dip the fuck out of there. And then we get on songs and brag about it. About running from the fucking law. But you know goddamn well. When they got you. When you had to run down there from. From uh, Pritchard Stadium. All the way to goddamn Happy Hill. When you ran from goddamn Kirk Lane All the way to goddamn 9-8. And they still got your stupid ass. You did five years behind that. That shit went funny then. That shit went that it went live when you heard the song then. 
we being attacked from all fucking angles. In a Newport box, when you buy Newport, do you know that this the goddamn uh, coupon that comes to that motherfucker? You see what that say? Studio. They got us so they got us down to a fucking science. Newports are four niggas. They tell you that you can win a fucking uh, a studio session. In a Newport box, dog. They got us down to a fucking science. You don't want to hear the shit, whatever like that. And the reason why you don't want to hear the shit is because of what them drawers is doing to your fucking mind. You can feel how the fuck you want to feel about that goddamn weed. But you know how you feel when you don't have that weed. And that's what addiction is. Addiction is, I don't feel like myself without this. Alcohol. Cigarettes. Anything that you need. I'm trying to find a way to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Because you have a mind. You have potential. But obviously you can't see it. You you wonder why folks don't believe in you and, and you, you say folks hate on you and shit like that. My nigga, obviously you don't believe in yourself. I'm going to tell you who really hating on you. Them folk, the, the, the enablers, the people that's around you and, and they watch you smoke weed. All day long. They watch you drink all day long. And they have no issue with it. I'm not trying to motherfuckers say you drink too much. You need to chill that shit out. I'm trying to motherfucker that stop everything. As if they just saw you hit the goddamn pipe. Like dog. Whoa dog. What you doing? Come on dog. Calm that shit down. I ain't, I ain't with that type of shit. If you saw a nigga doing some homosexual shit. You would. You would get the fuck away from that nigga. Because you not with that. So you're saying that you are with the nigga being nothing in his life. Not amount to nothing. The same place that you were last month, you're in that same place this month. You've made no progression. You're doing the same shit you were doing. It, you, it seemed like you you make a move, you, you trapping, you jugging, and that's why they give you this fucking music that you love riding around to. Because it makes you think that you're in a different world. It's all good. Like When I was listening to that future, when that Pluto came out, I'm telling you, I'm doing the same thing for months on end, but it just feel like something else. There's a new bitch right here. Oh, man. And you do that shit year for year for year until your whole 20s is gone. Now you're going into your 30s and not hoes are calling you too old for them. So now you fuck with the nothing ass bitches who on, on the bag and on the pills and shit like that. But they're 18 years old. And they're not going to point out, you know what I'm saying, your flaws because they just want you to keep giving them the bag and keep giving them the pills. Anybody that's around you that says nothing about you destroying yourself is okay with you destroying yourself. Which means that that is what your hater is. They obviously hate you because they don't want you to be shit. I'm telling y'all that 99% of fucking communication, I said 90, but now it's 99% of communication is nonverbal. Motherfucking tell you anything, but what do they act like? I can't just tell you that the police is wrong, the police is wrong, because we're giving them every fucking, you know what I'm saying? Yes, the shit they doing is gay as fuck and, and it's bullshit, but they can always justify by saying, look what happened to XXX Tentacion. Look what happened to Zach TV. We're trying to stop that. And then my response to them is, why the fuck you ain't trying to stop, like, the parking shooting or the goddamn Mesa shooting, the goddamn uh, Las Vegas shooting? That's my response to them. I'm asking y'all to give me some more fighting power for a month. Can we just say I'm not going to harm any black people just for a month? For a month, can we say I'm not going to sell no dope to any black people for a month? For a month, can we say I'm not going to make a song about doing drugs? I'm not going to make a song about harming any African Americans for a month. I'm going to tell folks how good I am without talking about how bad somebody else is. Unless I'm talking about our fucking oppressor. As street niggas, we are not each other's enemy. 
Our enemy is the corrupt fucking justice system. For a month, ladies, can we say, I'm not, I will not get pregnant. And if I do get pregnant, I'm not going to bring, I'm not going to allow myself to bring forth life that I'm not prepared for. Financially, emotionally, physically, spiritually. I will not bring someone else to a into a world that I have not figured out my fucking self. Until I have this thing figured out and I feel like the coast is clear, I will not bring a child into this fucking war zone that we call America at this point. Just for a month. Big Facts Podcast. Black police officers, please. For a month. I'm not, I'm, if, if it seems racist, if it's wrong against another black person, I'm not doing it, sir. Sir, it's a lot of other things we could be doing, a lot of other communities we could be policing. I think I have a, a lead on a white boy making pipe bombs. Can we, can we uh, follow up on that lead? What you need to do with these fucking cameras. If you a nigga with clout in your city, it's your responsibility to make sure the rest of the fucking city follows suit and we get something done to these racist and prejudiced people. Whether it's getting them fired or getting up their fucking business, taking them out of business. Let's act on something now. Big facts. Make sure you hit the PayPal. Love.